My name is James Blackburn. I live and work in the American Southwest. As a result, I have the good fortune to be able to travel to a variety of beautiful locations. As a professional filmmaker, I document my life through video adventures and I share them with the world. Stay tuned as I travel through the world of movies and the beautiful outdoors. Thanks for watching the James Blackburn Experience. Good howdy folks. Welcome back to another James Blackburn Experience. This week, we travel to the Jemez Mountains of New Mexico for a fun 48-hour camping adventure. Our campsite this week is located on Forest Road 376, where there is plenty of free car camping to be had everywhere. This is my trusty walrus two-person tent. It has never failed me. It is comfortable to sleep inside, very cozy and watertight throughout. I love this tent and have had it for years. I named this spot Island Camp because it was surrounded by water and fields with an island of trees in the center and beautiful views in all directions. The creek nearby was crystal clear, plus the sound is always relaxing to me. The pine trees nearby were huge and very healthy. I love everything about a pine forest green trees year-round, and of course, that amazing aroma. Later, my friend Rick and I set up the board game Lords of Waterdeep. I'm glad we could camp and play board games together. This was a fun trip, and including board games makes it even better. Lords of Waterdeep is one of my favorites. Congratulations to Rick on the victory. After that, we had dinner. I love a good chili dog, especially when I'm camping. Yummy! After dinner, we went back to the gaming tent for another fun board game. This time we played Caverna, the cave farmer's game. Congratulations to Rick again on another victory. Well done, sir. Then, night was upon us, and soon it would be time to head to our tents for some much-needed shut-eye. Good morning, and welcome to day two in the Jemez Mountains. I woke up early and was enjoying this beautiful morning. The sunshine felt warm on my face as I looked up at the beautiful pine trees. What a great way to start a day. This was a car camping site and that means we could bring extra items for comfort. And we did. We had our main shelters, but we also had a restroom tent, complete with a nice bucket latrine. We could take care of business in private and with all the correct supplies for success. I'm really happy we were able to camp at this beautiful place. The views were outstanding in all directions, and we barely noticed when a vehicle drove by on the nearby dirt road. Here is the nearby creek. Enjoy. This campsite was excellent, and I would definitely stay here again. The classic New Mexico blue skies, the big pine trees, and a creek. This was a great experience, and I was glad to be here. I love New Mexico. Next up was a nice and relaxing morning hike in the forest. The air was still cool, and there was almost no wind perfect for exploring the nearby area. Now for some boring but useful facts about the Jemez Mountains of New Mexico. The first thing is, how do you get here? Well, you take Highway 550 to San Ysidro, and then take Highway 4 north, travel north to the turnoff for Forest Road 376. Follow it until it becomes a dirt road. From Albuquerque, it's about 60 miles and a one hour drive.
You'll pass through the Gilman Tunnels along the way. Stop and check out the tunnels. A really beautiful waterfall. After that, the road becomes dirt, and you'll find many nice camp areas along the way. Check online before visiting to make sure the road is open or not. It varies throughout the year, so better to check first. This area is managed by the Santa Fe National Forest Jemez Ranger District, and is a popular site for camping near Bias Caldera National Preserve, as it is only 9 miles from the Bias Caldera entrance station. Come prepared for warm days and cool nights. When we camped here, it got up in the 70s during the day and down in the 20s at night. It is popular for picnics and fly fishing in the special trout waters and in the autumn for colorful aspen groves. Campers should be aware that this area has a 14-day camping limit on dispersed campsites. Much of the range is federal land, including the Santa Fe National Forest, Bandelier National Monument, and the Bias Caldera National Preserve. State lands include Fenton Lake State Park in Santaval County. Hiking trails crisscross the range and lead to many of the summits. Although some regions are closed to hikers either because of environmental restrictions or because they are on the territory of Santa Clara Pueblo or private landholders. The summits are generally easy to climb in good weather and require no technical climbing skills. But rock climbing is popular on some of the basalt cliffs elsewhere in the range. The region is prone to forest fires because of the tendency for spring weather to be dry and windy, creating conditions under which fires caused by human activities or lightning can spread rapidly. Thankfully, when we were here, there were no fire restrictions and everything was fine. The Jemez Mountains have the American Elk, the Gold Mantled Ground Squirrel, the Gunnison's Prairie Dog, American Beavers, Black Bears, and Mountain Lions, and a variety of other small animals. The Jemez Mountains are also home to a federally endangered species, the Jemez Mountains Salamander. Good howdy folks, welcome back to another James Blackburn experience. Today we are in the Jemez Mountains of New Mexico on Forest Road 376, about 8 miles past the Gilman Tunnels. It's a great little campsite, I'm going to do a quick walkthrough here for you and show you around. You can see this is a car camping area because my truck is here. Over there on the right is my friend Rick with his tent getting some things ready. And over to the left is where our base camp is at. Now that tent that you see in front of me here is the board gaming tent because it was too much wind out there to play board games outdoors so we played board games in a tent. And then we have our kitchen area with the white top uh, pop-up tent over there on the left. I'll take you inside there here in just a second. At the moment, the tent is empty, but we did have a table and board games in here. It was great. Now here's our kitchen, dining room, hangout area. You can see we were pretty prepared for kitchen-wise. And then back behind all this is where my tent was at, right there under the pine trees in the shade. What an awesome spot. We nicknamed this area Island Camp because it was like a little peninsula surrounded by fields and a creek and there was an island of trees on top of this peninsula so from now on it will be known as Island Camp in the Jemez. We had a relaxing afternoon at this beautiful spot in the Jemez Mountains. 
A little while later, we retired to the tent for more board games. Today, we were going to play Star Wars Outer Rim. This is one of my favorite board games. It does take some time commitment to get through the game, but that's part of why I enjoy it. You can choose to be a cargo pilot or a bounty hunter, or a little bit of both. The person with the most fame wins. I was fortunate tonight and won after about a three hour gaming session. And of course, what camping experience wouldn't be complete without a little slow motion campfire? This is one of my favorite parts of camping. Relaxing by the campfire with family or friends is medicine for me. But make sure you know of any fire restrictions in the area you plan on camping. We were here when there were no restrictions, thankfully. However, I've camped many times without a campfire, and that's okay too. We went up to our kitchen and started prepping for dinner. Sometimes we eat better out here than we do at home. Tonight, Rick was preparing a steak dinner over the campfire. It was gonna be yummy. While the dinner is cooking, check out this beautiful location with some great sunsets. And of course, the magic of time lapse. The steak part of dinner was coming along nicely. And while the food finishes, here are some more beautiful shots of the local area. Dinner was done, and Rick was bringing the meal he had just prepared back up to our kitchen location. We were going to have steak, baked potatoes, and baked beans. It all smelled wonderful. Now time to dish it all out and have some chow time in the Jemez Mountains of New Mexico. Thank you, Rick, my friend, for preparing this great meal. Evening was upon us, and we would enjoy a couple hours of campfire time. The tent looked really neat at night. The moon rose in the sky above. It was almost a full moon and lit up the area nicely. What a great day! Good morning and welcome to day three in the Jemez Mountains. Today was our breakdown and pack up experience. A little later, we would load up the truck and drive back to civilization and our families. However, as we drove out, we stopped and learned more about this beautiful and historic area. Go online to learn more. As we continued our drive, we also stopped at the waterfall nearby. Absolutely beautiful. I'm just blown away by how much water there is here every single time I come by. I've never seen it flowing this much. I've seen it flowing like this a couple times. The Gilman Tunnels are also located here, and they are fun to check out. These used to be train tracks for a mining operation, but now is open for recreation. And of course, there is the famous Jemez Red Rocks. I always stop here for the view. I hope you enjoy it too.
Remember, folks, love, love, hate, hate. Take care of each other. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Remember, folks, life is beautiful if you know where to look. Keep your eyes, your heart, and your mind open. It just might lead you somewhere special. Thank you for watching the James Blackburn Experience. Please check out my channel for over 900 additional video adventures.